Now, you all saw that clip. First of all, this is the black effect, the real black effect. Um, in that clip, that it could very well be staged like we know how this stuff is, but it doesn't matter. Um, this is still a real world example of things that happen. And kids today are very, um, you know, can be can just be little hellions because people don't believe in spanking them. They don't believe in discipline. Today, you know, black children act how some black children act how little white children used to act. Used to see when I'm back in the 90s and things, used to see spoiled little white children spinning around on the floor. You know, this has been happening with them since, you know, for a while. Parents, because white parents tried to neglect raising them and had nannies raising them. They, you know, had more privilege over here for for longer. Now, black people or some black people get more privileges having more children, but not wanting to discipline them. And what you get is you get unruly, um, di uh, just just unbridled, just unhinged children, and they become the same type of adults. They develop mental and spiritual illnesses. Yes, mental and spiritual illnesses. Your children will develop mental and spiritual illness if you do not guide them and discipline them. The Bible is very clear. It says train up a child in the way they should go. We're not raising godly children no more, so you can just throw that out the way. You're not even training them in any way. Throw that out the window. The Bible says spare the rod, spoil the child. This is very clear. If you spare the rod, like you don't spank, spank booty, spank bottom, smack them up, you know, smack them. You understand? That's what happens if they, if the need be, if they get too far out of line, you have to do that because they don't know. You understand? They don't know. And then some children, like I said, they can start to, to develop. They can have such a strong, um, personality and some and some parents don't want to discipline them like they they could some children could just rebel period no matter what you tell them you know some things to do things that could even harm themselves so you have to put the foot down god says if you don't discipline your children the bible says this is in the book look if you don't discipline your child you don't love them you don't you know, a lot of parents don't really love their kids because they don't really want to do the hard thing to do to raise them. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. If this was me and when I was a kid and I did that to my grandfather, he would have killed me. You understand? <laughs> I firmly believe that. You understand? Like, <laughs> I believe that if I if that was my grandfather, you know, and and I was acting like a little, you know, like that little kid was whining. He be I can't even you know, why just you know you they do one thing then they don't want to they don't like the one thing don't want to stand on what they did they don't want to listen you know and then while he he being patient with him the child just do just mean spirited and just push him in the in the water don't care if he lived or died or not you understand just push them in if my grand when my grandfather got out of there he would have literally killed me. I do believe that. <laughs> Maybe not, you know, I'll be like you in the gray. I, I, I may be exaggerating, but I really don't believe so. You know, that, and, and you know what? I would have been in the heavens as a child. And I would have been looking down and be like, you know what? You was right. Yeah. I messed up. You were right. Because that's how we were raised. With respect. You know, not to, to, to have honor, not to do certain things. The law says in the Bible, 
that we must honor our mother and father. That includes your grandparents. My grandparents was like my parents. Do you understand? They went and put themselves out there like they didn't have to do certain things. That they, you know, and a lot of our, you know, and, and parents themselves, like, you know, just because they may not be perfect, you know, don't mean you should be disrespecting them or be acting like a little knucklehead. Like that little kid in this video, I know he's a child, but I have a nephew, man. Salute to little Ace because he doesn't, one thing about him, little Ace don't, no matter the circumstances or, or what you tell him, don't try, he don't whine. He don't do all that. For one, he know we have his best interest at heart. You know, we'll do whatever we can for him. Like when the stuff we telling him is not to harm him, it's to help him. You know, and he's also had a lot of, you know, just male energy. In, in this movie, I mean, in, I call it a movie because I'm, I'm sorry. It's in this clip, in this clip here, you may like you heard a woman like she ain't she too busy. She ain't move an inch. Like, that's why I said this could be a skit, but who knows? But she didn't move an inch and she didn't, you know, she would, didn't sound like she was going like too mad at the kids. She had to go get him talking to the to whoever that guy was. It's like, you man, you know, my grandma would have been screaming at my butt, telling me like, you know what I'm saying? And I would have not only, and like, I just would have, like my grandmother probably would have stopped my granddaddy from, from doing what, you know, that's a, that was what she was good at doing. But my, again, my grandfather, bro, man, and I would have, he would have been justified in doing what he did. That nigga would have literally killed me went to jail and happily you know and that he and knowing that he was in the right man and again i would have agreed with him the heavens would have agreed with him i'd be up in heaven talking about man you know what lord i messed up i shouldn't have did that that's just how i was raised man i was you know we real ones i don't y'all were not raising y'all children to to be nothing but but just the the type of unhinged like i said people who have problems with authority and everyone has to submit to some type of authority like you, the people don't want to discipline their kids. Again, that's because they really don't love them, and they don't have. They try to act like some people act like they don't have the time. What well, What does that tell you? You know, you need to be engaged with your children. And again, the Bible tell you everything. You sprout a rod, you spoil your children. With that being said, this is Nico B. Black Effect. I'm gone.